Greetings, Guardians. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Friday. It's Friday, your favourite day of the week. The weekend is here upon us, and the Agent of the Nine is back in the tower, surrounded by... Mm, a very, very small amount. Slight sausage, I would say, there. But let's have a look at uh, what he's got for us this week. Have we got a fitting aspects for Warlocks, perhaps? No, we've got the Trespasser, Exotic Sidearm. We have Obsidian Mind, Warlock Exotic Helmet, as well as Knucklehead Rel Rel Reldar. Knucklehead Reldar, there you go. There's a new uh, word to learn for the day. That's for Hunter. Uh, immolation Fists for the Titans and Legacy Engrams. Body Armor Engram if you're chasing a year one chess piece. There it is. This week we've got some weapon bundles, Invective and Storm's Reproach Ornament as well as Telesto and Lingering Vestige. That's fantastic. Let's have a look in depth at the Trespasser. Exotic Sidearm with Be the Danger. This weapon fires bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy. We have Fast Draw, Steady Hand and Sure Shot. Relentless Tracker kills with this weapon. Grant Enhanced Motion Tracker Resolution for a short period. Hand Loaded. This weapon is effective at extended range. Reinforced Barrel. Increased range. Reduced stability. Quick Draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast and unrepentant. Reloading after a kill causes the next burst to be a longer, more powerful super burst. And we've got some very nice ornaments here fallen assassin which looks odd if yeah that's odd I, yeah the default's better and then we've got crucible assassin it's quite silver isn't it should you buy the trespasser yes you should it's a very decent weapon in both pve and pvp if you haven't added it to your collection get it in there now anyway obsidian mind for warlocks we've got insatiable nova bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next nova bomb which is nice increase intellect and discipline as well as ashes to asset i really enjoy this perk it's my favorite this is a 93 percent helmet by the way if you're into stats stat rolls and all that kind of thing so we're in the yellow at least with this helmet we've got second thoughts gain bonus super energy from special weapon kills on onions of the darkness and invigoration gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups should you pick up this helmet in my opinion if you're a void walker then of course because why wouldn't you want more purple bukaki in your life and in other people's faces that's a very simple thing to answer it's a pretty decent stat roll this week a 93 percent helmet if you haven't got that in your collection get it in there knucklehead radar for hunters we have sensor pack radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons we've got increased intellect increased strength inverse shadow ashes to assets and better already she'll start recovery immediately after orb pickup how about this helmet should you buy it <laughs> i would say no um there you can get um third eye on a variety of uh, primary weapons which would basically negate the use of taking up your exotic slot with the knucklehead radar put simply if you unless you really want to fashion it for the look mm, give it a miss immolation fists for titans we have accelerant unlocks the sunbreaker subclass node explosive pyre for free enemies brought down by your hammer explode chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies we have increased intellect and strength rain blows increased melee attack speed as well as impact induction bonus grenade energy on melee hits and pulse rifle reloader speeds and fusion rifle uh, reloader boosters there should you buy these um if you're skimpy on strange if you're a bit skint with the strange coins then maybe give the emulation fists a miss because having explosive pyre is although it's quite a um an exciting and fun thing to do in PvE. Um, these are very limited exotic gauntlets, in my opinion. You, you, it's very, very selective. It's very, very situational, and you're going to be having to take away your your, your treasured garrison, your Twilight garrison, or the Dune Marchers, for example. Anyway, Legacy Engrams, Body Armor Engrams this week. Twenty nine strange coins. If you're chasing a Year One chess piece, Legacy means Year One. It's just a fancy way of saying Year One. Just like Studio Apartment is a fancy way of saying a bed sit which is a tiny apartment with maybe a toilet in the corner so if you take a dump you, your guests watching the tv can smell said dump that's basically what legacy means it's a pr it's like a dressed up word of year one so unless you're really hardcore chasing a year one chess piece mm, give these a miss it's very expensive just go and buy 
more of these. Three of coins, a stackable effect that increases the chances of the next ultra you defeat in PvE or participating in a crucible match will award you with an exotic engram and these are far cheaper and a lot more fun. So uh, just buy those instead. Anyway, plasma drives, these are vehicle upgrades. If you happen to pick up a blue sparrow out in the wilderness and you want to upgrade it to a legendary sparrow, you can do so with these. This one will give you a blue exhaust trail, this one a green. We've got three heavy ammo synth there for one strange coin. 10 for three strange coins there that's a bit of a bargain and there it is that's fabulous there you go you can you can donate these to your favorite faction vendor or synthesize yourself out in the field in pve and give yourself some more heavy uh, glass needles if you are unhappy with some of the perks on exotic armor let's take these immolation fists for example if you want hand cannon reload speed you can buy yourself some glass needles and use this twist of fate um, function here and spend some resources to uh, re-roll those uh, those perks there for example you can also have a go at trying to get say increased uh, intellect and discipline if you if you like your striker titan and your sunbreaker builds and that is about it ladies and gents can we actually peruse those no we can't anyway you've got material exchange there you can get some moats you can get some exotic shards for upgrading your exotics and all that kind of razzle and that ladies and gentlemen is Zer's inventory this week on the 28th of april there we go. Look, it's in the bag. How's about Trials of Osiris tonight? It's Friday. That means Trials is coming this evening. Uh, let's do the same uh, as we always do and try and guess the map that we've got this week. I'm going to go with Burning Shrine, perhaps, maybe. We've had uh, some rotating maps over last weekend. So perhaps we're going back to the quiet after the storm and having uh, the old favourite Burning Shrine. But let me see what you guys think in the comments section below. I've been Story Machine. Have an absolutely amazing weekend and take care of yourselves take care of each other and remember smokers a kipper will be back for breakfast <laughs> <laughs>